Hello, this is Douglas Rumbaugh, and welcome to my second video on configuring Pop! OS. In the last video, we set up email, calendar, and contacts. And in this video, we are going to install GNOME Tweaks and show some of the things that you can do with that. So the stock default GNOME experience is a little bit interesting. For example, you'll note there is no minimize button. We can close a window or we can have it open uh, but there isn't a way to minimize it short of doing a right click minimize. So we'll see how we can fix that. And I'm also going to show you just some really convenient keyboard stuff you can do. As, because for example, I use the uh, VIM, Vim text editor quite a bit. And as a result, it's my personal preference to flip my escape key and my caps lock key. I know some people also like to use caps lock for control. I use it for escape, but whatever the case might be, I'll show you how you can uh, flip around what your caps lock key means too. So to begin with, we're gonna have to install something called GNOME Tweaks. And this is an application which will allow us to configure some stuff in GNOME that isn't configurable from the settings menu directly. So once you've installed it, it's just called Tweaks. You can go ahead and launch it. And we are now looking at the GNOME Tweaks application. And there's a lot of different tweaks you can do in here. Uh, by all means, poke around, see what you got. However, the, thing, the two tweaks in particular that I want to talk about would be the, um, the keyboard and mouse and window title bars. So here we have the window title bars configuration. And this is where you can turn your maximize and minimize buttons on and off. So flipping these toggles, you can see the maximize and the minimize buttons are popping in and out of existence on my window. Obviously the plus sign is for maximize and the minus sign is for minimize. We'll go ahead and bring that back. Now, you can also put it on the left or the right if you want. Now it is my personal preference is actually to leave these off, right, because by default, you can maximize it by double clicking it. Right? Double clicking on the uh, the title bar flips between mix, min, or between uh, maximized and unmaximized. And what I like to do is actually take middle click and make middle click minimize. So it, I don't have those buttons cluttering. And honestly, I think they, they look kind of ugly, to be honest with you, at, at least in the Pop! OS um, theme, they're not all that great looking. So I just throw that on minimize. So now if I just middle click, which would be pressing on your scroll wheel on your mouse, or if you're on a, uh, a touchpad, it's three finger. If you tap with three fingers, that's middle click. Uh, and then middle click just hides the window, just like that. So you can get your maximize by double clicking and your minimize by middle clicking. And that's the way that I like to do that. But again, you can configure it as you desire. The application you need is GNOME Tweaks. There's a lot of other tweaks that you can do in here too. Uh, this window focus is useful. So you can set it so that you focus on click or focus on hover. Uh, what that means is if I flip this to uh, focus on hover, notice that without click, I've, I have this window on top and without clicking and with this window still on top, I can now type into this terminal window behind it. So that's a, that's a useful feature if you like to use the mouse a lot. So you can uh, basically focus a window and type stuff even when it's in the background. Personally, I just leave it on click to focus though. The other cool thing would be under keyboard and mouse, there's a couple of different settings you can tweak in here for that. What I wanna go do is go into additional layout options. And this has a whole bunch of cool settings that you can tweak to configure the way your keyboard is going to behave. So you can, for example, adjust where the control key is located. This is for configuring, I, I presume this is for either saying what the control key does, and some of these are just for repositioning it. So for example, we have um, left control as meta key, or left alt as control, and you could just rearrange all your keys from a set fixed a fixed set of options here. Uh, what I always do is I go into caps lock behavior and the option that I like is, which one is this? This guy at the bottom, swap escape and caps lock. 
So now my escape key is my caps lock and my caps lock is my escape. When you use the, the Vim text editor, having escape right there is quite convenient. Uh, but there's a wide range of different other keyboard settings you can play around with in here that are quite easy. You can just check the, check the dot and try it out. So that is quite convenient and easy to play around with. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you, speaking of keyboard and mouse, which is going to be particularly useful if you're on a laptop, and this is actually in the default settings app. So if you go into the settings app and go to mouse and touchpad, this, this toggle right here, natural scrolling. So this, if you use a touchpad or a, yeah, a touchpad, you probably want to turn this on in order to get the default behavior that you get with most say Windows or Macintosh uh, laptops, where if you have, what is there? Let me see if I can pull up something here that scrolls a lot. Uh, let me let me get some scrolling stuff to do here. So by default with natural scrolling turned off, right? Pushing the scroll wheel up is gonna move your view up and pushing the scroll wheel down moves it down. Natural scrolling just reverses the order or reverses the directionality. This description is, while technically accurate, is very difficult to understand. All that natural scrolling does is it means now that when I push, when I scroll the wheel up, my view moves down, and when I scroll wheel down, my view moves up. And this is the default behavior for scrolling on a touchpad in, in most situations nowadays. So that is the setting you want if you're on a laptop and you want to emulate, say, your Windows or Mac behavior is natural scrolling. And that, I think, is sufficient little configuration tricks for this one. I hope that you found this video interesting and I will see you in the next one.